Hello world. People have asked me where to go for in an expensive um, vacation. So I'm going to be talking about insanely low cost places to go. So <clears throat> I've got four. Cambodia, Nepal, Thailand, Myanmar, and uh, the last one, Guatemala. So, if you're a little tired of Mexico, Guatemala. Um, so, let me tell you, um, Cambodia has beaches, uh, the best coffee, I bet you didn't expect me to say that. Uh, Angkor Wat, the largest religious monument in the world, absolutely stunning. I went to it five times and didn't see it all. It's like... Uh, Maybe it's 8,000 acres like Stanford University, where I am now, Palo Alto, no, not insanely inexpensive. So there's that. Uh, CM Reap has a really nice nightlife, good restaurants, where Angkor Wat is. And then right next door, Thailand. I know everybody goes there, and but it's beautiful. There's incredible nature, there's the islands. The agricultural center, Loy and Isan, amazingly spicy food where my friends live. Chiang Mai is nice, but eh, you know, it's a big city now. It's uh, has charm, lots of traffic. Um, I would go back. I have friends there, and you might like it for a couple of weeks because above Chiang Mai is Pai, which is incredible. A little village way high up in the mountains above Chiang Mai, and then you're almost to Myanmar slash Burma definitely go before it's overrun. Um, I went in 2013. I did a meditation retreat. You can do that there for um, a donation at the Vipassana Panditarama. I would recommend Yangon, Bagan, where all the temples are. I didn't get to that lake, Inly Lake, but um, I'll go back. To get a room in a decent place, $25 a night. Pretty good food, um, nice people. And then uh, my last one, Nepal, one of my favorite countries. Um, you got the mountains, the jungle, which is my favorite. Yes, rhinos, elephants, tigers, watch out. Alligators, crocodiles, did I say that? Real rhinos, people. Um, that's my favorite. I've never really hiked in the huge mountains. I've hiked in the valley, Kathmandu Valley from Nagarkot. That was epic. Um, what else do I like about the people? And if you can get away from the main centers, you're better off because that's where you're going to be able to talk to people. Insanely inexpensive. Okay, people say, oh, but you have to pay to get there. Yeah, you got to fly there. You know what? I actually saw a $600 round trip from LA to Phnom Penh in Cambodia. <coughs> $600. If you're flexible in the time that you go, it ends up being insanely cheap. Like, I've been going to Nepal since 2006. I've been five times, and this last trip was the cheapest one I got. Um, it was a one-way ticket. The whole way was $500. I changed it, but that's unheard of because Kathmandu is a hard place to land a plane, so you have to have an expert do it. It's a bowl, and it's not so easy. The runway isn't as long as you'd like it to be, uh, but I've never had a problem. So, um, oh, one last one. Guatemala. Oh, boy. Um, I lived there for several months on Lake Atitlan. Highly recommend it. San Marcos, Pana Echel. I like San Marcos the best. Um, San Pedro, you take a boat to go around to all the villages. So you can try different ones. I like Santa Cruz, a really sleepy little town closest to Pana. Um, you can rent a house for between three and five hundred a month. Don't pay more, you can find it. So um, yeah, there's a lot of opportunity in the world to go to places uh, where you don't have to spend so much money. And um, if you look for flights, and you might be able to use your points, you can get a darn good bargain. So, from Palo Alto, in my elephant shirt I got in Cambodia. I'll see you in the next video.